My name is Fozia Ali. I'm a mom. Um, I was born in Machakos, but I didn't grow up there. I uh, grew up in Nairobi. Uh, yeah, and family life was uh, nice. My folks were teachers. They were always around. So I never missed out on, be on having my parents around. Uh, but the thing about growing up with a mom who is in the, a teacher in the school where you learn, um, you know how life is. They know your performance, they know your, when you are naughty. So it was, it, was, it, was, it was interesting growing up, but I'm a firstborn. So I, I always felt like I had to be the role model. Uh, we are five, uh, four girls and my brother who's right in the middle. So two and two and then he's smack in the middle. But I can say that I've, I had a happy uh, childhood. It was great, it was awesome. So professionally, I work for Safaricom. Um, and uh, now I'm a general manager. Uh, I believe our role is to transform lives. And um, like I said, in the recent past, I was head of Coast Region. And being there made me connect to the customer, connect to the community, and really understand why we do what we do. It's not about base stations, it's not about airtime, it's not about scratch cards, it's, it's not about SIM cards. It's about uh, taking the network to Boni Forest so that people there can be able to ask for emergency whenever they need it. It's about having a medical camp in a place where no one will go. It's about um, taking medical aid that people will not be able to even get it for free. It's an amazing opportunity. But other than that, um, I like to farm. Um, so I, I grow tomatoes. I like to see things grow. If I wasn't an accountant, I believe I would have been an interior designer and a landscaper. So in Coast Region, we have a dealer. It's called Charles Otek. Charles was a, a trade development representative. What's that? It means he used to walk around with people's SIM cards, uh, selling them about seven years ago. But because he came to entirely, uh, started pushing Safaricom scratch cards, seven years later, he's now the biggest dealer in the Coast Region. He has maybe over 20 outlets. He employs quite a number of women, so he's actually going back and giving back, empowering women. Um, in all our dealer conferences, we mention him as a transformation story, one for the coast and, and just generally for the, for, for, you know, for the people in Kenya. So he, he's an example for all of us that uh, it doesn't matter what, how you grew up, where you grew up, um, life, life just has in, incredible opportunities. I think first and foremost, to be very honest, whenever I go into any meeting or even as I took the role as a regional head, I didn't, I, okay, I am a woman, but when I sit in a room, I don't see myself as a woman who needs special attention or special, you know, favors. It's about A-game. Um, take your A-game in there. Um, I believe that there was a role to be done. And it's true, uh, I, I felt that I needed to prove to everybody that it can be done. Um, I lived my whole life in Nairobi and I had to approve, approve myself, approve my son uh, in a space of three weeks to come to Mombasa to take up this role. And I did it. I remember the time I got the letter, I got the letter on 21st of August 2015. Um, we took a bus that same night to come and look for schools. So I was like, we need to just do this, get you settled in school and start. So number one, it's about ensuring that you deliver on the job. It's just You have, just have to deliver on the results. Number two, it's about, I have learned just believing in your team and allowing them to, to show you how, how great they can be. Uh, number three, it's about earning their trust as a leader uh, because I believe leadership is earned. And I can tell you in the three years, uh, we have done amazing things for the coast region. So um, yes, in doing all that I did, I believe I've been an inspiration to very many women in Safaricom and outside. Um, but all I can say is that we can all do it. We can all do what we aspire to be or to do. Uh, I think being a woman is just, it's just a plus to be honest. My biggest joy is my son, Mutua. He's 13. The best day in my life was 29th of June 2005 when he was born. Um, seeing him grow uh, every day, he amazes me. Um, so he gives me lots and lots of joy. I've always thought that I'm the one to teach him things and I'll tell you just one incident. So there's a day we went to a children's home and we had taken chess boards. And he was actually playing chess. And it's not, I didn't teach him how to play chess. So every day he surprises me because I've always thought that I'm the one to teach him everything, but 
yeah. So that gives me joy. But the second thing is uh, my job um, and my team. Uh, they give me immense joy. They fight uh, for the for Safaricom. They fight for the customer. Uh, we. It may seem easy from out there, but it's not. Um, we, 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 we push ourselves to do the very best for the customer and, uh, and the team just um, gives me lots of joy. I think we just need to accept our diversity uh, each, and, and, and the differences that we have and embrace that because I think for me that's the greatest thing. When I came to Mombasa, uh, I met a lady who told me that she's always lived her whole life in Nairobi and every time she'd see a woman wearing a bubui, she used to feel like she's about to get bombed. And she, even in a matatu, she, was, she used to feel like she can't sit next to that person. But coming to Mombasa and understanding that, you know, Muslims are just human beings. We like the same things. We want to succeed. We want to get educated. We want opportunities. She has just learned to... Actually, she's saying she wishes she had had this experience when she was young. I love the fact that we're different and that we can learn so much from each other. So for me, I think it's accepting our diversity and, and just uh, enjoying it we will be better Kenyans. Bob is our boss. And nowadays he's a Kenyan, he's us, he's, 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 he's a Kenyan. He's, he's, a, he's an amazing person because he brought humanity to Safaricom. He embraced, he made us appreciate the community to, a, to an even better level. I mean, Michael started the journey, but Bob took it to the next level. He showed us that you can grow an amazing company by being um, inclusive. Uh, by building partnerships. Um, I think he's an amazing, amazing human being. Yeah, so for me, he's, uh, he's the person I look up to. It's about connecting people to opportunities. It's about connecting people to knowledge. So Safaricom has moved from Safaricom, the better option, to Safaricom Toweza because we are now embracing uh, partnership and inclusivity to an even greater extent to say, alone we cannot. Toweza, together we can do great things. So when we come together, great things happen. So of course in our engagement with Engage, it's about bringing people to people, connecting people to people, connecting people to knowledge, and connecting people to opportunities. I think for us, it's an amazing partnership that brings the three uh, tenets of the Toyeza spirit together. But in, in many, many things. Um, we cannot be able to take the airtime in our warehouses to the customer. We need the dealer, it's a partnership. We cannot be able to deliver a medical camp. We need partners to be able to, we are not doctors. So in everything we do, and as Kenyans, I think what we want to say and to sort of like create a movement is that uh, we can't do it alone. Pamoja uh, So I have a special relationship with shoes, it's true. Uh, I can never get enough of them. Um, I think shoes just lift you up. For women who understand what shoes are, they just lift you up. You're feeling down, get a pair of shoes. Uh, you want to look good? Get a pair of heels. Um, you want to get into a meeting feeling like you need something to, to motivate you? Uh, get a pair of shoes. But of course, to balance it and not to feel too guilty, I say for every shoe I buy, I buy three books. So I have to read very quickly <laughs> because I, I need the next shoe fix uh, very, very quickly. So yeah. Um, I believe um, shoes say a lot about you or about, about a person. Uh, I always tend to look at the shoes whenever I meet someone. So I'm sorry, but it's just the way it is. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm an open book, so everybody knows everything about me. But um, maybe not many people know that I, I, love, I love jazz. Um, my ultimate would be to go to Cape Town uh, for the jazz festival. Um, but second to that is that I, I truly love um, spending time with children in children's homes. When I was in Nairobi, there's a home in Kangware called Children's Garden that I supported. Now we're building a dome for them. Uh, here in Mombasa, there's a home called Tumaini. I, I am pained that I'm leaving because I hope that um, someone in my team will be able to, to visit those kids.